What up, boys and girls? Welcome to The Flip is a Lie, Part 2. So thanks to your feedback and discussions and everything on Reddit and in the comments and the forums and stuff, I uh, wanted to clarify some things up front. Yes, The Flip is still a lie, <laughs> but I wanted to clarify that what I'm talking about. This is not whether a muzzle rises. And it does. They tend to, right? More or less, depending on the gun. It's about how a muzzle rises. And uh, more importantly, if we're looking at it from game terms, where the muzzle rises from, like the point of rotation within the firearm. Now, we could sit here and we talk about what makes a gun jump or kick or buck or whatever. There's lots of different things we could look at. We could look at the internals. There's always different, uh, the way things are designed and engineered, all the different moving parts and pieces. There's the overall kind of balance and weight uh, of the weapon. And there's also things with the shooter, right? Um, you've got um, shooter's posture, their stance, their form, uh, all these types of things. But what I'm talking about when it comes to the flip is something much, much simpler than that. <laughs> but even though it's simple, it has huge, huge, huge implications for Escape from Tarkov and how the recoil is translated and how it's perceived, how it's shown to the player. Right? It's really simple. Check this out. Let's say this is a gun, okay? And what I want you to picture is, uh, for those who may not have shot very much, um, pretend, it's a, pretend it's a pistol, let's say, right? So a pistol, you've got the web of your hand, right? The way you hold a gun fits in the web of your hand, and that's, it goes. The slide jerks back and reciprocates, right? The slide. You break the shot, boom, the slide jerks back. And when it hits that, it tends to um, rotate from, cause a rotation from the web of your hand. It's just, just pure physics, right? Boom, jerks back, causes the hand to rotate up, right? And as you get better and better and, sh better, and better at shooting um, through form, practice, different, different things you can do with tension, all this kind of thing, you get better at kind of muting that flip response, right? Now that's, now that's with a pistol. That makes sense, right? What I, what I want you to imagine here is that this is no longer the slide of a pistol. This is going to be a full-blown rifle. Let's imagine that from the clip back is the stock, and everything from here forward is the business end, right? And you've got the grip maybe right about here. Now, what's interesting is, I suspect, I don't know for sure, but I strongly suspect that Tarkov is currently treating a rifle as if it were an improvement upon a stockless weapon. Let me show you what I mean. Check this out. So here we go. Let's pretend, go back to a pistol, there's no stock. We're talking about just the grip. It kicks back and boom, rotates up. That's what I'm calling the flip. It flips upward, okay? Now, if we add the stock, here's the clip. We add the stock there where the clip is, watch what happens. In order for it to kick back and then rotate upward, in order for the front end, the muzzle end, to flip up, what has to happen on the back end? Aha, it has to dip down. Now, when you're shooting a stocked weapon in real life, that's not at all what happens. Why? Because this is one of the main primary contact points for stabilizing the weapon. So, Instead of it going back and flipping up, breaking that point of contact. What it looks like instead is, if pretend this is the grip here, right? You have the shooter's body. And as the shot breaks, the shot breaks, as the weapon recoils back into the shooter's body, it's kind of like picture like almost like a spring or a sponge, right? These two, boom, kind of take. The body absorbs it, and they kind of rock back together, a little bit in sync, right? Now, where that becomes interesting even more is not only if, from a physics standpoint, think of it this way, if, if, if Tarkov is calculating kind of the flip based off of this, like, central balance point of the weapon, more or less, right, you could see how that would be very, could be very exaggerated, right? Whereas if, you were to, if they were to take the, let's say, the point of rotation to scoot it more back, more in line with the stock, now it's uh, having to lift 
the entire frame of the weapon, right? That, that changes things a little bit. But here's something even more interesting for this. It is, and I'm going to try to uh, see if I can get this in line with the camera a bit. This is, I'm trying to imagine, let's imagine, so here's the buttstock. Here is the muzzle end, right? The forehand. There we go. That looks good. Watch what happens when I flip this up. You break the shot. Boom. If it rotates from more in the middle, what do you think happens to the sight, the sight picture? Whether it's the iron sights or, or if you have a mounted scope or something. Check this out. Uh, I don't know if I can show it here, but imagine when this flips upward, see how that rotation from the middle also causes the sight picture of the scope to be thrown off, which is precisely what we see in Escape from Tarkov. Whereas, and it's kind of hard to show, um, it's kind of hard to show, I'll, maybe I can do it from this way, pretend I'm the shooter. Uh, if I There's a flip, right? Flip in the hands versus a tip. Watch how this plays out. There's a flip. When they rock together, it can still be a little bit of a muted flip, but see how they kind of still stay in line. The sight picture wouldn't, it wouldn't flip and you lose it. You'd stay with it and you'd be able to see the sight all the way through. And that's it. There's two or three primary examples I'm using from the game to show this to you. And as you see this, I want you to see that same exact uh, phenomenon we showed, I was talking about earlier. In order for this, in order for the front end, uh, where's my, <laughs> in order for the front end to tip upward, pay attention. What, what does that mean would have to be happening to the stock? It means it would have to be losing its contact point with the shoulder. So again, I suspect if Tarkov, if the wizards at BSG would go through and clean this up to where that, to where the point of contact remains at the shoulder, we would see a much better, not only shooting experience, but not only be more consistent and more accurate with what, you, with what it looks like and feels like to shoot within sights in real life, it would also give them a little bit more play and leeway as to what they're able to do with recoil. Sound good? So let's watch some footage together. Good old, uh, the sex machine, I mean, not sex machine, uh, Grand Thumb. <laughs> a little slow-mo frame by frame. And you can see what I'm talking about. Now, and just again, when I'm showing it here, I'm showing big motions, exaggerated. What you'll see is when you've got a gun, when you're snuggled up to a gun, got it pressed in really tight, you're trying to, when you marry yourself to that rifle, we're talking about very, very, very small movements, right? That act, it doesn't, take, doesn't have to travel very much for it to start uh, bucking into and pressing into the body and causing it to kind of collapse into form in some ways, right? Cool. Let's take a look.